Welcome to News Around Town Hillsboro. I am Pamela Borak, Hillsboro Township Municipal Clerk and Public Information Officer. At the last Hillsboro Township Committee meeting, Mayor Sean Lapani and the committee recognized the efforts of Sophia Morazetin and her creative way to support the Ukraine. Let's take a look at what she's doing to raise awareness and funds. Sophia Mortazin created a handprint painting in Ukrainian colors for sale utilizing the proceeds to purchase medical supplies, clothing, bulletproof vests, helmets, and even a couple of drones. I've been like painting, paintings, and well, <laughs> I want to thank you all for like helping like raise money and donating so much. I've raised so far $15,000. Girl Scout leader Tara O'Brien was honored for receiving her honor pin. The honor pin recognizes an individual's exemplary service and support of delivering Girl Scout leadership experience, which has a measurable impact in two or more geographic service areas, allowing the council to reach and surpass its mission delivery goals for Girl Scouts in those areas. Now therefore be it proclaimed that we, the mayor and Hillsborough Township Committee, congratulate Tara O'Brien for being awarded the honor pin and commended her for her continued service to the Girl Scout, part of New Jersey Service Unit. And an incredible service unit team, many of who are here today, of nearly 20 volunteers, keeping Hillsborough a strong Girl Scout town. Thank you for supporting me and for all of our service unit leaders and team members for supporting our girls. The Hillsborough High School girls track and field team ran their way into the Skyland Conference Champions. Congratulations, team. The 2022 Hillsborough High School girls track and field team were the Central Jersey Group 4 State Champions, Skyline Conference Champions, Delaware Division Champions, Somerset County Champions, and the Somerset County Relay Champions. Thank you, Mayor Panning, for having us and the Township Committee. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Have you been out to the Garden of Honor lately? Earlier this year, it received a facelift, and Mayor Sean Lapani and the Hillsborough Township Committee presented Rob Jorgensen from Twin Oaks Landscaping a certificate of appreciation for his generous donation towards the beautification. If you haven't seen it, it's gorgeous. We did uh, LED lights he put in that changes color. So, first of all, Rob, from one landscaper to another, he did a great job. <laughs> and from the mayor to you, and on behalf of Hillsborough, thank you very much for your generous donation. Absolutely. We are completely honored to not only be a business in Hillsborough, but also to honor the veterans. Um, it was a very special uh, project for us that we were able to create such a nice area to commemorate the veterans. Join us on Sunday, August 7th for our annual Purple Heart Ceremony here at the Garden of Honor. The ceremony will begin at 9 a.m. and light refreshments will be served. Thank you to all our veterans, especially our Purple Heart recipients. In other news, Committeeman Britting shared updates from the Social Services Department, the Health Department, and Recreation. Uh, so the Community Assistance Network, CAN, is holding a back-to-school supply drive. Among the items that are needed are backpacks, lunch boxes, flash drives, three ring binders, crayons, notebooks, pencils, and pens. Now we'll move over to health. So be on the lookout for back-to-school COVID-19 vaccination clinic for ages 5 and up on Thursday, August 18th from 4 to 6 p.m. and in here, the municipal building, and well water testing with Raritan Valley uh, headwaters in October. There's a lot going in recreation this year, but we're going to focus this time on the annual fishing derby. So it is that time of year for the annual fishing derby and camp out. This all takes place on Friday, August, uh, August 5th at Ann Van Middlesworth Park. For more information on registering for both the Family Campout and the Fishing Derby, please see the Recreation Department uh, webpage at hillsboroughnjrecreation.org. Thank you, Mayor. Committee Mandelcor reminded all Hillsborough food establishments that now is the time to register to participate in the fifth annual Restaurant Week. It's a great opportunity for them to show all the residents here what they what they do and, and uh, some of their best dishes. Uh, for those restaurants that would like to sign up, uh, you can go to hillsboroughbusiness.org uh, for more information and to register, but it is a, a really good event. Uh, I know we can we get all the uh, committee people out, and uh, the residents have actually uh, done a really uh, wonderful job of getting out to the restaurants during that week. It's a great opportunity for them to show all the residents here what they, what they do and, and uh, some of their best dishes. Uh, for those restaurants that would like to sign up, uh, you can go to hillsboroughbusiness.org. Deputy Mayor Erickson provided updates from engineering, the building department, public works, and the police department. 
Um, so to begin with, from our engineering department, the list of the roads to be repa repaved will be released after the yearly capital budget is approved by the township committee. Do I need a permit? <laughs> if your pool is capable of holding more than 24 inches of water, the answer is yes. Pools have specific requirements for their installation and for their barrier. These requirements are intended to provide protection against potential drowning and near drowning by restricted access to the pool. From the Public Works Department, they would like you to know that they are winding down their annual road striping program, which assures that the municipal roads are meeting Federal Highway Administration standards for traffic sign usage and road surface markings. Campers received replica hard hats and had fun seeing the giant snow, snow plow trucks. Please visit the Public Works link on the Township website to learn more about our programs, including upcoming clean community events. The Police Department would like to remind Township residents to not leave their pets in cars unattended, especially during days with extreme heat. If you come across a pet that is stuck in a hot car, please call the police if you can't immediately summon the owner. To hear all the reports or watch any Hillsborough Township Committee meeting, visit the Township YouTube channel or Facebook. Thanks so much for tuning in today to Hillsborough News Around Town. This is Pamela Borick and I will see you around town.